ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star silver character gameplay preview video and today we got Johnny Drip Drip that's right, we got John Morrison and uh, we got a Johnny Drip Drip on my stream on Friday night so uh, he been around since before Morrison been back but that's another story! That's another story for another day but uh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you, creative team. If he's got a jacket on, it should spin when he spins. Look at that. Right through the gut. Right through the gut. All right. Anyways, uh, he's got no gear. He is going to be the chase superstar here for uh, Snoop Dogg's summer party. And let's take a look inside the poster here. Coach ability yellow move starting MP reduced by three for your opponent. So, if you want to have a chance against my Montez Ford, you're going to need Johnny Drip Drip. And some of his info is a little wonky right now. I'm playing on the portal. On my phone, it was correct. So, I have things pulled up so I can read them. So, his name is John Morrison. Uh, should be in the white here. The blue here should read Johnny Drip Drip. Uh, Link. Raw Link. We better get a Miz and Morrison Link up in here or I'm going to be upset. Let's get it. And uh, if we look here, the multiple forearms is the four-star move and the spear is the five-star move. But we're not focused on that. We're going to go with uh, dollar sign, dollar sign, five, nine, six, six, one. I mean, that's actually uh, Starship Pain. Starship Pain. I got it on my phone. And I got an updated description for this move that's wonky too. Uh, finisher. 11 charge finisher Starship Pain. Deal. 89,000 damage. Gain six purple MP. Then we got two purple moves here. We got the uh, seven charge European uppercut deal 30,542 damage. Choose a four by one area to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into blue gems when broken by you. I don't know why the text isn't on the portal, but it is on my phone account. So uh, and then we got the standing moonsault six charge purple deal 15,109 damage and destroy row number one which will be the top row across so we're gonna set the snowfalls destroy the row it makes all the blue you hit the blue it recharges the purple back and forth that's how you do it okay so we got the new sasha on here training blue gems do 2200 more damage i haven't done the math on it but uh, I don't know if a percentage trainer is going to be more. I don't know. We'd have to do some math. I don't even want to do math. Tell me down in the comment section below if a max blue gem damage trainer would actually do more damage. Here, let's look at the stats here. Uh, well, it's buffed there. I can't. So, how about that? Uh, blue gem, 7550. So, alright. Let's see. What's our highest percentage here? So, 7550 times uh, 30... Ah, it's 35% for max, isn't it? Twenty-six forty-two. so I think we might be able to get more. I think we would get more with a blue gem damage trainer. Anyways, I'm going to roll with her because she's new. Uh, let me know if my math is wrong, but it looks like a gem damage trainer at 35% might be a little bit more. Is it, 30, is it 35 the max we can get to or just 30? It's 35, yeah. So, I think it's 400 more than, than, than what she's doing here. But, anyways, let me know. You do the math. Uh, we got Woods on there to start with more purple MP. I got uh, Afa on here for 5% more blue gem damage. And then I got Andrade for 20% uh, increased chance of purple gems on the initial gem board. So, all right. I'm going to be out here. Royal Rumble match 5 against Vader. You know how we do it. I know he is a 5-star bronze and I'm a 5-star silver. But... Uh, Johnny Drip Drip here is a gem damage guy, and it's nearly impossible out here at the highest level with no strap to go against somebody that's going to be fully strapped against you and nerfing your gem damage down. Like, it, it, it's just not going to work. If they're taking, like, you know, anywhere from 35% of your gem damage away, and that's all you rely on, it's, uh, it's not going to be good. Alright, so here's the thing. European uppercut here. We want to make the snowfall gems. Now, remember my description's messed up, but yours won't be, I'm sure. Um, it's going to turn everything below it into blue gems. So, I kind of want to look for a place where I'm going to match some blue gems off to the column to the left and right. 
So if I look here, this will give me these two and then three there. That's the most I can do. So we put those there. The other purple move, the standing moon salt, that's going to destroy row one. And uh, that's going to turn everything to blue. And bada boom, bada bop, 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 bop. And uh, that's 380,000 there. He's probably not going to kick out. Oh, maybe give him them cascades. Because uh, it'd be better for him to kick out there. we got to show how the recycle goes. Okay, so then you're going to hit your finisher. It's only 89,000, but we're going to gain six purple, and it's gonna, you're going to be able to hit that again the next turn. So, Okay, so then you pretty much waste a turn on that finisher. Then you go out here, you hit this again. And I'm gonna put it in there. We got like four gems off to the side now. Destroy row one, and that's gonna be all she wrote for this match. So I know I'm out here squashing a lesser opponent, but I want you to be able to see what he can do. Now, if you had if you had Johnny here strapped out to the gills, then it would be a different story. Uh, then we could get an accurate thing. But if I go out here against a max opponent right now, it's literally going to take all of my health to beat him. It's going to be slow, and it's going to make him look like he's not as good as he is. But uh, against Vader here, he has no protection from the gem damage like that. So we're just going to go roll over him real quick. All right, let's check out what else we got here. So... We got some other moves here. We got uh, some low charge here. We might be able to take this out against somebody higher. Um, let's see. Choose four to make into blue. Choose a two by two area to destroy. I don't know about this choose four to make into blue. Because then it seems like you're trying to feed the finisher. And I'm just not going to do that. So the multiple forearms I might not do into a set. Unless you were... Okay. Oh, I see how you would use that. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm working this out, out loud here. Never mind the, the mumbling. But uh, let's go with the low charge set here. So let's see, uh, deal damage and make four random gems into multiply gems of strength five, and then deal damage plus bonus damage for every multiply gem. So that's going to be big, but then how are we going to move the pin meter? Oh, I know, we're going to choose a two by two area to destroy. This is going to be, this is going to be awesome right here. Okay, so we're not going to need to move, uh charge on here so what we want is move generate to make more multiply gems we want to flood multiply gems okay sin car out here so now we can make eight multiply gems do we have multiply gem damage or do we i don't think there's is there multiply gem damage is it Demon Balor? Yeah, okay. There we go. Sin Cara and Finn Balor Demon here. Now we're doing 21,933 bonus damage for every multiply gem. And that's that's per turn right there. Then choose a 2x2 two two area to destroy. Um, this is still blue gem damage. This is for purple. Now we need to get that out of here. Um... I mean, we could just put Lacey on here for green and purple. I mean, it's still... You're just going to break some gems there anyway, so... Maybe that'll help out. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But, man, with a strap on here, too. Woo! Woo! Uh, with this set here, I'd put one of them blue 50Ks on there. Oh, my goodness. Recycling this. You'd be hitting. You'd be hitting. All right, let's see how fast we waste Vader with this. I mean, this should be quick. This isn't necessarily gem damage, it's bonus damage. So I might be able to take this set out against somebody super gnarly. Okay, so turn one, you're just gonna bop! Super kick. 
eight of them bad boys. And then we get the bonus damage here, so this will be good. He can't nerf that bonus damage, so we're just melting him there. And then uh, just look to break some gems here. I mean, they're going to be one charge, so you want to break blue every other turn because you'd want to fill this uh, other blue move up. But let's go ahead and throw these out again. Because if you play it right and you get just the right setup, you might be able to hit all this a couple of times. So let's get that bonus damage. If you could clip one blue and one green gem without cascading with this other blue move. Whew. Oh, it's like it's right here, but that times five is there. And then right here, but that times five. Like either one of these is going to cascade it. Um, I could get a blue gem here. Like that, and not Cascade, and then I can hit this again and get the bonus damage again. Yeah, we're going to have to bring this one out against somebody stronger, because he's not relying on the gem damage there. And then you just, boom, 11 or 12, look at that. Boom, loot boxes. Get it. Get it, Johnny Drip Drip. I will make a follow-up video uh, going out against some max opponents with him. I just want to get a preview out for today. We'll test this out on my stream tonight, and then I'll uh, I'll get the highlights of that up in another video. But yeah, we're going to be doing that tonight. I'm going to see how far we can take that. Okay, here's what I had thought of. So we want to get in this last move here. That we haven't seen. The four-star move. That was a five-star move set, by the way. All that multiply gem shenanigans. So, we want to choose four gems to make into blue. I think also what we want is... Uh, to make the snowball gems. Was that what we wanted to do? And then make the multiplies. So, you could choose the blue on top of this. But you'd need, uh, I guess you're going to need, I could run it with the same setup here. I mean, actually, you wouldn't really want to go with this. You'd want to go back to blue gem damage rather than Valor here. I just go like this. Let's just try it out and see if it works. This is something I had in mind here, so. Got to do something, right? I'm excited to see how far we can go with the uh, Multiply Gem setup. I think he can smack some higher level people like that. So now we're just, uh, we want to get lucky and match some green up here or something. Match some purple, match anything. Like, give me something that I need. Hopefully he sets this board back up for me. Of course he beats me to it. Of course. Alright, I can finally there. I can get this and I can clip the I can clip the purple gems here so I can at least set that up. That ain't gonna be so bad on damage either. Look at that, 160k, so. The longer, I mean, that's a lot of times five multiplies to throw out every turn. And for this set, you know what? Rather than the, I should have ran Matt Hardy. Should have ran Matt Hardy. So I will probably, uh, I'll try that out again later too. We'll do all of the, uh, the fine tuning testing tonight and I'll make a follow up video. I'm actually going to hold this a turn because I want to hit all of that at the same time. I should have used Matt Hardy and made these into times seven gems. Might have been worth more than all the blue, but I'm trying to just set this up. Now we can do the snowfall. Now I can choose blue gems up top. 
Where's the most times five at underneath? Probably right there. Now I got the choose blue gems move here. Okay, so that's going to go across. It's going to clip that purple. Those are all going to go. Okay, so let's just put it on the side here. And bop! Oh, look at all them times fives! Let's go! 467 toasted him! Toast him! So that's your big... It takes a little bit to set up. But on a hot tag, if you bring him in like that. So that's two videos I'm going to look to do. I'm going to see how far I can take him. Uh, against five-star silver opponents and see if he works well with that multiply gem setup And then I'm also gonna work on a hot tag for that move set So be on the lookout for those subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them If you've never been here before click the little red button right underneath this video player says subscribe and while you're down there Drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me those things are free to you They take like two seconds helps me out tremendously So why wouldn't you do that for me and uh, I'll leave you with that be on the lookout for these other two or stop by my stream on Twitch tonight and check it out live But uh, until next time